If you want to buy any FIFA 18 Ultimate Team coins, check out MuleFactory.com. They have cheap prices, 24-7 support, and a five-minute delivery time on their orders. Make sure to use my discount code IHAS5 when you do check out. What is up? Welcome back to a brand new video. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to snipe on the console, how to snipe fast and win every single card when you're sniping, trading. I'll show you like how I'm pressing the buttons, everything and that. So after this video, you can be a professional sniper like myself if you class me as a good sniper on the console. So if you guys are enjoying my videos, drop a like on this one. If you want any other like tips, tricks, drop a comment down below. I'll be reading all of the comments, replying to most of you as well. And if you have video suggestions, I can do them as soon as possible. For those wondering where trading to 1 million is today, sorry no episode tonight. I've been busy, but again, from tomorrow, I should get the series back daily. And some of these snipes might actually be featured in that series because I am sniping on that account. So, first of all, when you're sniping, the first thing you need to do is find your sniping filter. So, I could, if you guys would like, do a weekly video where I show like 10 sniping filters for that week. For you guys to do so I could just be like weekly sniping filters you guys could see some sniping filters to use for that week so if you want me to do that drop a comment saying like weekly sniping filters but in this video I'm going to be using Jose Esquerdo so all you need to do is find the minimum buy now of the player you're going to pick to snipe usually I recommend them be at least like 1000 coins because remember there is EA tax but usually the players around 2 to 7k are like the best ones to snipe but like a lot of cards get listed up so his minimum buy now as you can see 2.4k there's a couple cards on the market so i'm going to say i'm going to sell my card at 2.3 thousand coin then you need to actually calculate the ea tax so what actually happens is ea take five percent when you do sell your card if you did not know that so if we sell a card for 2.3 thousand coins we actually only get back 2185 coins so we want to actually pick our cards up for cheaper than 2185 in order to make a profit so usually i would say at least make 100 coins per uh, like per snipe. So this one, if I snipe at 2,000 coins, if I pick up a card for 2K, I make a 185 coin profit. And if I pick up a card cheaper, it's even more of a profit. And then what you do now is just get sniping. So when you, some people think for snipe, you can literally just search, press OK, search, press OK. You can't do that. You actually have to change your search. So ways you can do this is, for example, I could like go quality to gold, search, miss a snipe and then set the quality back to any and then search again so that's what on my people do it you can also actually like do chemistry style so you can search basic chemistry style go back do any basic any so these are like some of the sniping like methods that people do use personally i don't use these two but if you want to use those that is the ones you can use but the way i think the best is you set your max price you press the right trigger or r2 if you're on the playstation to 50 million coins so you hit search press ok move the price down by one press search again and this is all you do you just repeat the same process going faster and faster picking up live snipes like that one and that is you basically just do that over and over again it can take getting used to but if you want me to go through the button so imagine so you press search so you go a or x if you're on the playstation you press okay then you press a again so go back onto this you move your left stick this one left so you change the price then you go B for back or circle if you're on the PlayStation. Search again. So you go A, A, left, B, Y. If that's your, that's your like button pressing if you if you want to go through that. So, it, so you press search and then you go A, A, left, B, Y. A, A, left, B, Y. And that is like the button combo that I would do. If you are on the PlayStation, yeah, I've got my PlayStation controller here. It would be, so you press triangle to search and then it would be X, X, left, circle, Y. That would be like the button sort of order you'd be pressing them. And you press them very, very quickly. And then you just get sniping like this. And it looks like, to be honest, like I'm not really doing anything. Sometimes if the EA servers take a little bit longer to load, it might like throw you off and you might accidentally back out from the market. But that's what you do to like constantly like search on the market fast. And then once you actually find a player, that is when you need to like know the button, like well, how to buy the player as quick as possible. So... For example, say if I just put the price up so I actually find a player. Say we look 2.3k. To buy the player, again, you want to go A, down, A, up, A. So you, that might you, that might take quite a lot of getting used to, but you literally, you have, the card starts with mid, so you go A, down, up, A, buy. Yeah, that's pretty much it. It's quite a few button pressing, 
But you sort of get used to that one. I don't really think of like what buttons I'm pressing when I'm doing the sniping. You literally just... It's sort of like muscle memory. It just takes time to get used to. And then you do get better at doing it. So you can see like when I am sniping, I'm pressing the buttons. You can probably hear it actually on the microphone. You press the buttons really quickly. So you're searching like as soon as possible. So as soon as the card does get listed up like that one, you win the card on the snipe. This is actually going really well how I've got both cards. So that is how you do it quickly. And what I might try and do is actually show my hand movements while sniping. I've got some suggestions to do that. The lighting might not be as good, but I'm going to cut to my hands. And you guys could see, I don't know, my button pressing when I'm trying to snipe. It's probably a really dodgy shot. I'm literally like balancing my controller on some random games. So here's my controller here, you could see. So you can still see the gameplay. So we've just searched for a card on the market. So again, I'd go A, A, left, B, Y. And then you literally just press it really really fast like this so if you want to know like how i press it, i don't like use the end of my thumb so the left on my left hand all i do is literally just go left on the market like that and then with the right hand i do all the other button pressing so i search i press like with like the back of my thumb go a a again that and then by i saw sort of like do a flick motion okay we missed that snipe i've just shown you slowly so again you go search you go a a oh i'm not on this so search you go a left a B Y like that that's how i do it and that is basically how you snipe so like sort of like the by is like a single motion like it's just your thumb like going like that like you sort of flick your thumb down that's how i do it and then you just get sniping nice and fast there's a card we picked up live i can't actually see the price because my camera is like in the way of the screen but this is pretty much how i do snipe on the console if you want to see it on the PlayStation, like you can't actually see like the live sniping on the PlayStation. But here's my PlayStation controller again. So if, you, if I would be doing it properly, I'd go. So I've just searched. I'd go A, A, left, circle, triangle. And then that's how I'd be doing it on the PlayStation. This finger, I don't really know what's doing. It's just, it's just chilling there in the corner. But that's basically the motion you do when you're sniping. And then when you do buy, when you do find a card on the market, the process you do, you're on it. You go A, down. A up A. It's quite hard to like pr uh, like visualize unless I actually see a card in the market. So if I just up the price, imagine we find a card, I go A down A up, and then I would press it again and we would get the buy on the card. But I think that's about it really for sniping. I could show you some like sniping clips if you want to see my hand movements. I don't know, it's a bit of a different video. There's another card. Okay, I failed that one because I didn't actually press down quick enough, but I could try and get some snipes now. Live ones. And you can just see like what my button pressing looks like. You can see when I mess up, see when I actually do get a snipe like that one. What am I actually getting these cards for? Because I can't actually see. But let's hope they're cheap. And yeah, this is basically how you snipe on console. It's quite a dodgy camera angle. I hope I've like got a good enough one and the lying isn't the best. Oh, 2,000 coins for that card. But yeah, you will miss some snipes. But this is basically how you do snipe on the market. You can see how I'm doing it. And in my training series, I literally just sit here for quite a long time trying to snipe. And hopefully, like most of the time, I do pick up the cards. But some cards, people just beat me to the card. So you need to be like quick at that buying thing. 1.4k, so that would have been a decent profit if I managed to win that one. But that is just how I snipe. The, uh, the, yeah, the X button on the con uh, Xbox, you, I do not use at all. I missed that card. That wasn't good. I'm getting slower on them. But this is pretty much it. How you do actually go ahead and snipe so i'm gonna get a couple more live snipes we're gonna hopefully pick a card up for like a thousand coins something that would be decent to end off the video come on somebody list one up yeah these two fingers don't actually have to do anything you can wrap them under the bottom of the controller i sort of just like leave them around here so i rest my hand around the controller but yeah it's just your thumbs moving a bit you can actually use the d-pad if you prefer that to go left but i find the stick easier because it's just like easier to flick when you have to go like up and down yeah this is the sniping it's all you have to do and then you pick up some big snipes make some decent profits and you just like have to get used to it like you ha you just get faster and faster the more times you try it at the start it might feel a bit weird i remember like sniping at the start it wasn't the best for me but you just get used to it and then you can pick up cards nice and quickly here we go what's that two thousand coins you managed to pick up another card i think we picked up like five i don't know i don't know how many cards we picked up live but quite a few cards can we get back-to-back -back snipes? Oh, we've missed that one. That's because I was sort of delayed between the search. So you saw there, I didn't search straight away because like I just bought a card that wasn't ready and that was why I did lose the card. 
But as long as you're like searching straight away, you're straight on those cards, you're winning them, picking up those easy snipes, making the profit, and that is pretty much about it for sniping. Back to the normal camera. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. It's a bit different. I've never recorded my hands on YouTube or whatever before, so I hope it did help you guys out who are struggling with sniping or those who want to like get quicker at sniping. If you want me to do another tutorial or something along the, like the lines of this, drop a comment down below. It's a bit of a different video. Help you guys out when you do uh, when you are sniping those cards. And in the comment section down below, drop a comment what is the best snipe like profit wise you've had this year. I've had a lot of people actually sending me in some of their trades and snipes. So I'm gonna say it now, top trades of the week. We'll be coming back soon, maybe this Sunday, if I can get everything together. If not, it will be next Sunday. So top trades of the week, get them sent in, and I should be bringing the series back very, very soon. And if possible, get a live clip of you picking up like, the Xbox Record or the PS Capture. Something like that could be even better. But on that note, thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy this video. I want to say thank you for 79,000 subscribers. The support has been mad. We're on the road to 80k and then 100,000 subscriber marks. So we're on the road. We will get there soon enough. But thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you on my next video. Don't show up to my show if you've got no energy. 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 Loud at you.